Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. Ha, <laughs> char lang. Okay, so today I'll be teaching you how to add and subtract polynomials. Alam natin na si polynomials, um, under nyan yung monomial na mayroong one term, binomial, two terms, trinomial, three terms, Multinomial, we have four and above terms. So, lahat yun under ng polynomials. So, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano ba mag-add at mag-subtract ng polynomials. So, tandaan lang natin na pag mag add tayo or mag-subtract ng polynomials, um, we have to take note that the polynomials are like terms or similar terms. Ano ba natin malalaman kung like terms or similar terms if have the same variables and exponents. So, parehas na parehas yung variable with exponents. Okay? Halimbawa, um, x and x. So, kung tignan natin yung variable natin yung x, ang exponent yan 1. Sa kabila, x din and then yung 1. So, hindi natin titignan yung numerical coefficient na 5 and 3. Ang titignan lang natin ay variable at yung exponent, yung dalawa lang. Once na they are exactly the same, so ibig sabihin, uh, that's the only time na pwede natin silang i-add at i-subtract. Another example, x squared and 7x squared. Parehas silang x squared. Okay? Isa pa. We have 11y cube and 3y cube. Rehas y cube yung variable natin. So, like term sila. Pwedeng i-add or i-subtract. So, example. So, the given is 2x plus 7x. Since they are like terms kasi parehas x, lang tayo nag add ng integers. So, gagawin lang natin. Since sin add, ano, Positive, so, pwede natin i-add lang natin. So, magiging 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. And then, pwede lang natin yung common variable which is x. So, 9x ang sagot. Okay? So, dito naman, 3y minus 9y. Tandaan natin yung rule natin na if change change. Yan, natutunan ko yan kay Miss Apple. If change change. Tandaan natin yung first term. So, 3. Yung subtraction, yung operation natin, from subtraction, we need to change it to addition. So, kaya siya change. And then, yung positive 9, positive yan, um, change daw from positive to negative 9. So, magiging 3 plus negative 9. And then, apply natin yung rules natin sa addition of integers na pag magkaiba ng sign, we need to subtract. So, 9 minus 3. 6, and we need to copy the sign of the larger number. Alin na mas malaki? 3 or 9? So, 9. So, negative. Kasi negative yung 9. And then, copy natin yung variable natin na y. So, so this is the final answer. Next example. We have 4x cubed plus 3x minus 2 plus 6x squared minus 8y minus 1. So, kapag nito yung case, pwede natin siyang pagtapatin. So, sulat ko lang 4x squared plus 3x minus 2, and then itapat lang natin yung common term, yung like terms. So, si 6x squared, parehas siya nito kasi x squared, ba? So, tapat ko siya sa 6x squared, and then yung 8y, since walang y dito, dito ko siya ilalagay sa walang katapat. And then, negative 1, this is constant, constant din to, so minus 1, ayan yan. And then, add na natin. So, bring down ko lang yung mga walang katapantay, or katapat, so positive 3x, and C, negative 8y. Then, solve natin to. Parang nag lang tayo, 4 plus 6, and since they're both positive, kaya plus, P, x squared. And then, dito, since negative 2, negative 1, kaya sila, so, i-add lang yan. Yun yung rule ng integer. Same sign, add. Negative 3. So, kung isusulat natin, ang panibago, 10x squared, plus 3x, uh, minus 8y, Minus 3. This is the final answer. Hindi natin pwedeng pag plus plus and or minus yung mga yan kasi magkakaiba ng variable at exponent. Okay? Next. Last. 
But if we have x squared plus 3xy plus 3y minus 6x squared plus y plus 5. Diba? Sa subtraction, we need to keep change and then change. Ayan. Tandaan natin yan. So, tapad natin. Si x squared plus 3xy at si 3y walang mababago. And then, itong minus na to, mag-change nyan into addition. So, lagay natin dito. Tapos, lagyan ko lang ng guhit. Si 6x squared, lahat yan mag-change. From positive 6x squared, magiging negative 6x squared. Magiging negative y, magiging negative 5. Kasi we need to change. Subtraction nyan na Subtraction. Sa subtraction, change, change. So, ito tapat na natin. Si negative 6x squared, katapat siya ng x squared. Ayan. Si negative y ay katapat ng 3y. Kasi pare silang y. Hindi mo pa katapat dito kasi may x to. Okay? Ibaan. And then, si pa negative 5 ay walang katapat. Dahil constant siya. Then, bundan ko lang yung mga walang katapat. So, magiging positive 3xy at si negative 5. Then, so, lang natin to Automatic kapag x squared, wala kayo nakita ng number 1 yon So, ang gagawin natin dito, 1 and negative 6. Diba sa rule ng addition, pag magkaiba, subtract. So, 6 minus 1, the answer is 5. And then, copy the sign of the larger number. Sino ba ang mas mataas, si 6 or si 1? So, si 6. Kaya negative siya. And then, bring down lang natin yung x squared. Copy lang. And then, y tsaka negative y magkaiba ulit. So, we need to subtract. Ano ba yung numerical ng y? 1. So, 3 minus 1, 2. Sino mas malaki? Si 3. So, kunin natin ang sign ni 3. So, that's positive. And then, copy the variable y. So, that's the final answer. Negative 5x squared plus 3xy plus 2y minus 5. This is now the final answer. I hope natuto kayo. So, so not like a boss. Thank you.